Lori from Lori's Resourceful Treasures. We're gonna get going here on a lot of different things that I've been working on. And so we're gonna get started. And as Tigger would say, woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Hi, so these are some bunnies that I put together. And I uh, see I put a little tail on the end, but I added a little bow tie to it. Um, we're gonna have a, a packing day this summer. And so I wanted it simple, easy, so that, okay, this will go to a boy, he's got a bow tie on. This one is for a girl, it's got a little bow on top and it's pink. And then the blue one has a bigger bow tie on it. And that way I can separate them out, put them in different piles to pack up boxes. Um, but I thought these were cute and they're just with fabric, so two pieces together. And then this is the pattern. Uh, very simple, just made it myself, drew it out, cut it out, put it on some cardstock, and then I'm able to cut out a bunch at a time. Um, so that's a quick, simple project. Um, and today, uh, what I wanna talk about more is um, online, you can find a ton of websites and blogs that they give you a free pattern. It's for personal use only, um, but I consider personal use when we give away items to the children. So um, I have been looking up a lot of different um, things for uh, free patterns. This is one of them, um, not my favorite that I've ever done. Um, it is, my husband thought it was a rat. Uh, someone else thought it was a bat, but it is a pig. So it's, it's a pig. Um, I missed something on the instructions because the legs, it's supposed to stand up, but he is sprawled out flat. Um, and uh, this one was from MarthaStewart.com, free pattern. Um, and I'll show you a picture. Um, I'll post that on here and show you what it's really supposed to look like. But um, yeah, he's, he's okay. There we go, we got the pig. Um, and then the next one I did was some really cute little elephants. Um, and these elephants are, um, they are from Christina McKinney from Birch Organic Fabric. I don't have her exact website or blog, but it's, I'll post her name up above so you can go there if you want. So she had um, these small ones, which are a perfect size, I feel, for the shoe boxes. Put a little tail on the end. And um, I didn't put eyes on it because I thought, well, I thought it was cute even without eyes, so I didn't. Um, contrasting fabric for the ears, little tail. So these are the small ones. And then I also made the big one. Um, the big one I will not put in a shoe box. It's pretty big. So um, that is something that I will probably give my granddaughter for Easter since it's coming up soon. And I did clay little eyes on this. Uh, you can see it better here. There's clay eyes, um, soft fabric, and, um, and a tail. So um, these are real cute. Um, and then the last that I did that had a free pattern was this adorable crab. I just really, really like him. Um, a little bit of cutting out, a little bit of stuffing, because you gotta cut each of these little legs out. But um, I think it's worth it in the end. I just think he is really cute. I did do the clay eyes on him, sewed a little mouth on it. Um, and this one is from whileshenaps.com. And so this is a free pattern that she gives out. Perfect size for a shoebox and very, very cute. I can see them really having fun with something like this. Um, and then I did a couple of more little um, felt pieces. Uh, this one's not my favorite one in the world. It's an owl. Um, but I have a new pattern of an owl coming. Um, this one I just loved. This is my little whale. Um, thought he was really cute. She, whatever. Um, I put a little design on the end of it. Um, I will have um, 
a link on how you can get a pattern for this. Um, I'm going to put the patterns um, up and have it available for you to use. So this is just the felt. I did it one-sided and you can put an eye on the other side and do the same on the other side if you'd like. I didn't feel it needed it, but um, if you have time and wanna do it, that's up to you. But I thought he was cute um, and the pattern will be in the description. I'll have where you can get that. Those are a couple of new things. Um, something that I am working on um, is some little clay necklaces. So what these are is, this is baked clay. Um, I roll it out. Um, so I have the cutter and what it does, it cuts out from the clay. I roll the clay out and then to get it up, I use my little, I don't know, um, spatula thing here. It's not for that, but it gets them up off of the, usually a parchment paper or wax paper down, lift this up put a hole in the top so I can put the string through it. And then I take a stamp and then press it in. This is not the stamp for this. What I used is these. Um, it's a motorcycle, a, um, <laughs> a backhoe maybe, and an airplane. Um, so these are three of the stamps that I used. The problem when I got these stamps were that they had ink in them. Well, I didn't want ink to go on my clay. So I ended up taking them and opening them and letting them dry out. So then now all I have is the uh, stamp to use. It took a long time to use up the ink. Um, so just saying, if you can find stamps that are not with ink is much better. I could not find them at the time. So I ended up with these. So you can see this is the motorcycle and then the airplane and then this is the backhoe. Um, so yeah, these are cute, easy. I wanted things for boys. Um, there's always things for girls, really cute things, but for boys, um, and you know what, I have made a lot of these for kids. Um, you wouldn't think boys would like them, but you know what? I make a lot of these for, for boys. Um, so what they really are for and what I first made them was you can put essential oil in the clay and then it infuses into the clay and then um, they can smell it throughout the day. I've had a lot of mothers who want to send their children to school with this with some relaxing scent of um, essential oil in it so that their children can, you know, have a better day, a relaxed day at school. Um, they just wear it inside their shirt. Nobody knows they even have it on. Um, and it is adjustable. So there are two uh, places where you knot it and you can adjust it so it can go as short as you need it. Um, I have watched many, many different instructions on how to do these knots. If you watch five videos, you'll get five different ways to do it. So just if you wanna do these, find the one that is best for you because there's a lot of different ways you can do these knots. Um, at first, it seems a little intimidating, but it is really easy um, once you get the hang of it. Um, so that's that, and then, um, I have been, for Easter this year, I printed out some uh, stickers for my grandkids. So what I do is I have, uh, these are one inch round stickers, and I go to avery.com, and I will take the images that they have, and then I will put it on you search this, this is 94500 for the template, and you go in there and you pick their images, or you can download your own images, and you just put it on the um, site, and you can do a bunch of different stickers. It is much easier if you're doing one design, because if you do one design, it goes on all of them. 
Otherwise, you have to do every single sticker if you wanted different ones. And that's what I did here because I wanted different ones for my different grandkids. So I cut it and then put it in a card for them for Easter. Um, but this is something that I know for Avery, you do have to have an account, you have to sign up, and you have to promise them that you will use Avery material to use their guides and images. So for me, that's not a problem because I do buy all Avery stickers. I've tried to use other stickers. It never ends up right. They're off some way or another. So it's just easier for me because I use um, the site a lot and it's just an easy way to get some stickers made up and um, you can cut them and then they'll easily fit in the box if this is something you want to send it with the shoe box. Um, and then I got my little mold here. Um, and this isn't the mold I use, but it gives you an idea of the kind of mold that I use. Um, but these, these are crayons. Um, they are cute. The design from the mold really gets on there very well. And it just shows some different ones, different colors. Um, so you take your regular Crayola crayon and you take the paper off. You break up the crayon and put in each mold. You want to fill up the mold pretty good because when it melts, it goes down a little bit. So I stick them in there really good, have them sticking out, and then they'll melt down into the mold. But I think they just really come out, like, just really cute. Um, and, you know, I'm not doing this to use up my Crayolas, which it, it does the job. But I do it because it is, they're cute. And you can do them one color. I chose to change up the color because you can see the design shows up better if it's all different color, if it's a lighter color. This dark one is a little um, triceratops, but it's hard to see it. But um, yeah, so for boys, you know, these would make cute colors. The kids seem to like the design of the molds better um, than just using a stick crayon, but you know what, they both work. This one, you'll get a different, you know, color as you're coloring. Um, but I thought for the little ones, the lower age, that these would make a cute little um, gift for them and box it up accordingly. There are so many free patterns out there. Um, you know, there's more than just sewing. There's other things out there. You just got to hunt. You got to search for it. But, you know, for me, I love to do this stuff. So I'm always on the hunt for something new. And, uh, you know, loving life because God saved mine.